I am D-Slice. I'm James. And today we have yet another video uncovering the many mysteries behind sleep. And today we will truly answer the question of why do we sleep? The process of sleeping is required for the body, but why? I don't know. Wait, I do know. Uh, research has shown that without sleep, your body doesn't produce growth hormones and you can't concentrate in the morning. Which makes sense if you ever wake up in the morning and can't concentrate. But what happens so necessary to growth? So, first of all, what happens to the body when we're asleep? Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. All the muscles relax and the brain can finally use its energy on something more important than like growing your hair or digesting food. For example, healing wounds. So this is also the time for the brain to get some rest from its daily functions. It will convert emotions from throughout the day into dreams and sometimes you will be aware that you're dreaming. This phenomenon is called lucid dreaming as we have discussed many times before. And you basically can find out more about yourself because you have access to your subconscious whilst in that dream. Unfortunately, lucid dreaming is still a great mystery to science, but to help us understand it better, we can run an experiment. Yeah. I will try to lucid dream using tips from the internet, and will share my experience with you. Hopefully, we'll have some interesting results. I performed a three-day experiment which included counting your fingers three times a day and doing reality checks frequently in order to lose a dream. Before the experiment, I could dream once a month or so. Then, after doing the procedures, my dreams became more frequent and the further into the experiment, the more interesting results we got. First of all, I was not tired and was able to wake up ten minutes before I usually do, naturally. I also had more energy, although I went to bed later. And it wasn't just because I was binging YouTube, it happened naturally again. Now, I want to know what happened. What if forcing lucid dreams messed up my sleep cycle? Well, let's analyze this. Every day I went to bed later and woke up earlier getting less sleep, but still having much energy throughout the day. Now, if the forced lucid dreaming would interfere with my sleep cycle, I would sleep less and have less energy. So that's a no for that theory. But there is still one theory left, which leads us to the next culprit, the weather. On day one, it was significantly sunnier than on day two and three. Yet I woke up later on the sunniest day. But day two and three were the warmest compared to day one. Could that be the reason behind my changing sleep schedule? Let's see how the weather affects sleep in order to find out. Well, the weather actually affects your sleep. Actually, 80% of people say they sleep better in cool weather with the sun making it uncomfortable for them to slumber. And, and that, as we think, is the real thing that affected my sleep, the weather. But still, what was the conclusion of the experiment? That small things like counting your fingers and doing reality checks can seriously affect your brain and that learning consciously is pretty similar to learning whilst unconscious.